So the transfer window is over. We can all stop pretending to be experts and have people that we know in the club giving us information and revealing transfers even though we're 15 year old boys. We can say the Wolves have had the best transfer window that we've ever known as Wolves fans and that it's only going to get better if you think about next year. It's going to be crazy, particularly if we have a good season this year and if we're knocking on the door of Europe if, or maybe we're even in Europe. It could be a fantastic uh, an exciting time to be a Wolves fan. But focusing on this window, I'm going to give it a rating of 10 out of 10. I think when the dust settles in a couple of days' time, we realise that we've got enough cover at full-backs, and I'll go through that in a minute, and that we don't really need a 20-goal-a-season striker, and those sort of strikers don't exist. We've got a very, very strong squad, and one that is perfectly capable of competing in the middle of the Premier League. So to start off with, Wolves made a number of their loan deals from last year permanent in Diogo Jota, Willy Bolly, Leo Bonatini, Ruben Vanagre. Now Diogo Jota and Willy Bolly showed throughout last season that they are top quality Premier League players. There's no doubt about Willy Bolly. I've heard a number of opposition fans describe him as being one of the best defenders the Championship has ever seen. And I've got to agree with that and I can see him really thriving in the Premier League. The fact that he's going to have to concentrate and play against some of the top forwards in the world, we're going to really see Willy Bolly thriving and a 10 million price tag for him is an unbelievable piece of business. Had he been English, had he already played in the Premier League, we could have been looking at a 30, 35, maybe even 40 million pound price tag. Diogo Jota, we've seen him play superbly in the Championship. There might be a few question marks over his ability in the Premier League because it's a big step up for, for an attacking player. You're expected to do a lot more. Whereas Willy Bolly looks like a complete player, Jota's that little bit rawer. In my mind, there's a little question mark over him and whether or not he's going to do it in the Premier League. I think that he will. I think he's going to be superb for us. I can't wait to see him in the Premier League. And £13 million for him is an absolute bargain. And then Bonatini and Vinagre coming in for £7 million between the two of them. £5 million for Bonatini, £2 million for Vinagre, reportedly. If we can get the Bonatini that started last season now, that's an absolute amazing deal. He was one of the top players in the championship in the first half of the season, scoring 12 goals, but he's really struggled since then. And there's been a lot of talk about him, but I think he was quite unsettled at last year. His family was still over in Brazil on a loan deal, a couple of injuries that he picked up as well. There was a few things that went against him in the second half of the season. A phobia as well came in in January and that made him second choice for a lot of the, of the second half of the season. So I'll be interested to see what happens with Bonatini, but I I could see him being moved on in January if it doesn't quite work out. Now, Ruben Vanagre, for any neutral fans who had not followed the Wolves la over last year, he's one of the most exciting prospects that we've got, and he's our player now. He was on loan last year from Monaco, and a left wing back, I could see him potentially turning into a Gareth Bale type player. He's very attacking minded, his defensive ability is okay, but he's more comfortable going forward. He's only 18. He, if he bulks up a bit, he's going to be a hell of a player. And to get him for £2 million is unbelievable business. Now, So people are talking about how Fulham have spent £100 million in their first window back in the, in the Premier League. And Wolves, we've spent a lot of money, £67 million. But we've, we're investing in younger players who are going to prove themselves, as well as signing a couple of really experienced players. So the next signing I'm going to talk about is Adama Traore. Uh, We've seen him a lot at Middlesbrough over the last couple of years and he's been tremendous. He's a very, very good dribbler. He's a very strong and powerful runner, very, very fast. It gives us another option and that's all that Nuno's been talking about. Over the last year that he's been in charge is about having different options. Now, if you can imagine the situation where Wolves are under pressure in their own box from a corner or from a free kick or something and the ball comes loose to Traore, we've now got somebody who can run the ball powerfully clear of the halfway line and then with the pace of Jota and Cavaliero and Costa keeping up with him, can, we can see so many more goals on the break like that. It's very, very frightening. And I'm looking forward to seeing that. Then the signing that was confirmed today, but was all but done yesterday, Leander Dendonka on loan initially this season, but then with an obligation to buy for £12 million in the summer. Uh, I don't know a lot about Dendonka to be honest. I've seen, obviously, played against uh, England for Belgium in the summer at the World Cup. But he's a player who's versatile, and that's been a theme of this transfer window as well. He's trying to sign players who are able to play in a number of positions. And Dendonka can play centre back, 
we can play midfield. He's comfortable on the ball, and that's what we want. We want people who are confident and are able to use the ball well and fit into our system without having to have great changes to their game. Now, then, another two loan deals. We've got Johnny Otto, who's come in from Atletico Madrid, having just moved from Celta Vigo, uh, left back. And we've got Raul Jimenez, who's come in from Benfica on loan for the season. It's cost £2 million to complete that as well. So they're two players who I'm excited about seeing. I was quite critical about Johnny in his first game that he played uh, left back. Have it, and he's not very strong on his left side. But this is where I wanted to come to with the full back position and missing out on Zinchenko. I'm not too concerned about missing out on Zinchenko. Partly because he didn't want to come to the club. And you can understand why. A player who was at Manchester City last season and played enough times to win a medal, he's got to back his own ability and think that he wants to stay at Manchester City and you know try his best this season. If it doesn't quite come off for him, then bad luck. But he's at one of the top teams in Europe. They're going to be challenging for the Champions League. It's a fair play to Zinchenko for that. In terms of Wolves and our squad depth, I don't think it matters. We've got Vinagre and Johnny who can play left side. We've got Doherty and Johnny who can play right side. We've seen Ryan Bennett fill in there. We saw Oscar Burr Rasmussen at one game last season fill in there. He would be the very, very last choice for me at the moment. But we've got options in those two positions. I would have liked one more, but you have to trust Nuno and that he's got the squad that he wants. We've seen how he can be very particular about the players that he gets in. Zinchenko was obviously highlighted as a person that he wants to get in. He didn't want to come. So Wolves weren't going to quickly scrabble around and get an extra man. They were just... It was Zinchenko or nobody. In the games that I've seen Raul Jimenez so far, he looks a very, very hard-working centre-forward. Although, I think we need to move away from this thought of having centre-forwards. Wolves are a progressive team now. and we, If you look at the Premier League as well, not many teams play with a striker that will score 20 goals of the season. But it's, it's a bit of a myth that we need this 20-goal-a-season striker we're going to get goals, we're going to get 30 or 40 goals from the front three players that play each week. And they're going to share those goals out amongst them. Now, if Jimenez gets seven to ten goals this season, I wouldn't be surprised. I think he's that level of player. And from what I've seen as well, he's fast and he's hardworking and he's passionate. And that's going to get him goals this season as well. And then for the two big signings, João Moutinho for £5 million. Really, really pleased with this signing, purely because of his experience. Uh, he might not have the legs to last for a whole 90 minutes in the champ in the Premier League. I'm so used to saying the Championship, but his his experience is going to be so valuable this season alongside Neves. Neves is going to learn so much from playing with Moutinho, and then players like Gibbs White and younger players coming into the team as well. Dendonka is going to learn so much from being around such a top quality player. I'm really pleased about that. And five million pounds for a player who's played so many times for Portugal is another absolute bargain. Thanks, George. And then the final transfer, which could be our most expensive transfer, or it could be our cheapest transfer. Rui Patricio coming in for free at the moment, but could rise up to as much as £54 million if Sporting Lisbon get their way. But we've already seen him, and the way that he controls his box and his shot stopping is superb. He's an absolute presence. There was a, a chance that Villarreal had on Saturday where they were one on one with him. He didn't. He just came out, rushed out, made himself looking so big, so quick. And it's not something that we've seen before. But to sign one of the best goalkeepers in Europe, and that's undeniable. Behind the defence that we've already got, I'd back us to keep about 12 clean sheets next year. And for a team that's coming up new to the Premier League, that's an unbelievable amount of clean, clean sheets. So Wolves closed the transfer window, having made 10 signings, six of them being new players to the club. And I think that's a really key part as well. People focusing on... Either Wolves fans focusing on we haven't signed enough players or neutral fans looking at us thinking they've signed too many players. Well, if you think about it, we've kept the core of last year's squad that was so successful and added some experience and some quality to that eleven. You think of compare John Ruddy to Rui Patricio, compare Sace to Moutinho. Now, what I am surprised about, and not many people have talked about this yet, is the lack of outgoings. You think about that bomb squad that's there in Compton the Group C, who are uh, players like Ethan Ebanks, Landell and Paul Gladden, that we can't seem to shift onto anybody else. That's a little bit of a concern that we've got so many players on quite good wages still at the club. 
Not that that will be any sort of concern to multi-billionaires Fosun. Although you do imagine that some of those players will be off on loan in the next week or so. That, that window still is open for a while. So yeah, it's a very, very exciting time to, to be a Wolves fan. The players that we've been able to bring in this year are incredible. Just to stop and pause for a second to think about the players that we've had since the last time we've been in the Premier League. Yannick Sagbo, Danny Graham, all of those players who came in and we've had to endure for so long. And now we're going to have young, hungry, exciting, skillful players who are going to come in and take this club so far. I can see us. I made a prediction of eighth earlier on this week. I'm sticking with that. I think it's going to be a tremendous season and I'm really, really excited for it. So thank you everybody for watching this video. Sorry if I've gone on a little bit longer than usual, but I think it's it's needed. We signed an awful lot of players and we've got a lot to be excited about. There'll be a preview up tomorrow of the game against Everton on Saturday, our first game back in the Premier League. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to join me again tomorrow for a preview on the Everton game. Very, very excited to be back in the Premier League. Very excited with the signings that we've made and the squad that we've got. We're ready to shake the Premier League and get up the top as quickly as we can. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. For more Wolves content, very, very regular at the moment. See ya.